Hey guys, as here bringing you another video and welcome back to climb to master now that we're returning diamond 3 zero LP So yes, we're already in diamond 3 uh, We began this series once again like a week ago in diamond 5 and yeah, we're climbing quite quickly I was I was expecting to climb quite quickly until we got to like like I mentioned I think it was like diamond 2 uh, That's kind of where I would guess I'm gonna slow down in the climb uh, But even that I think I'll be still pretty good uh, so team comp wise, I am swapping role and I'll talk about that in a second, but I'm probably just going to play Warwick. Uh, I think Warwick could fit quite nicely here. I could shut down any of these champions basically. Like I'm looking for ganks and I could ult one of these three and they all die. So to me, that's kind of nice. Um, so let's just quickly talk about why am I, I, am I role swapping? Because apparently, by the way, the, these two are duo queue. Um, there's a duo queue or something and they, they've won 22 games and lost zero. So they're probably LCS players or something like that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, let's go to a different skin, shall we? Let's go Hyena. Um, but the thing that I said to them, basically, was... Uh, I'll, I'll go jungle, but please don't do the stupid scumbag thing of linking your OP.GG. I hate when people do that. It's one of my petty hates in League of Legends. Is when people like go, look, I should be in this role. Give it to me. Don't do that. Like, if someone wants to give the role, they'll give it to you. Otherwise, yeah. Anyway, let's go to the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. Now, as you can see, the enemy team has a 51.8% chance to win. But let's break it down. They have a D3 Draven, a D5 Janna, D4 looks to be a Revan one trick, D4 Twitch Jungle, and a D4 LeBlanc. On my team, a D4 Teemo main. I feel sorry for him. A D4 Thresh looks to be like a Thresh main or something. Uh, D3 Warwick is myself. D1 Tristana and a D... Uh, no, Platinum 1 uh, Tristana and a Platinum 1 Cassadin. Now, as you can see, they are duo Q, the Cassadin and the Tristana. And they currently are unbeaten. And both were zero normal games. So this is one of two things. Because they're duo Q, it's likely that these people are either boosters... That they quickly get accounts to like high rating and sell the accounts, or they're LCS players. It's one of the two because uh, LCS players, if you didn't know, are given accounts by Riot with zero normal games and everything unlocked. It's part of being an LCS player. So with their win rate and everything, it wouldn't surprise me if they're LCS players. Obviously, we're not going to know, uh, but yeah, we might be able to just get a kind of free win on the coattails of these two. So just before the video begins, I just thought I'd say this video is sponsored by MeUndies, a premium luxury underwear company. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is an underwear company sponsoring a League of Legends video? And it's because of me. Uh, I'm a massive fan of the brand, been using them for over like six, seven months now. Uh, so much so when I got my first few orders, which I obviously personally bought, uh, I threw away all the other brands that I owned because MeUndies is all about comfort. And that's kind of what I look for. It's all about comfort. I'm an average dude playing video games. I don't need anything fancy. Comfort is all that I need. And that's what MeUndies offers. They obviously do a lot of patterns and stuff. Like you can go as crazy as army or pandas and stuff. But yeah, the comfort is right there if you, that's what you're looking for. Uh, furthermore, they're expanding into different things like loungewear, joggers. So you can check that out too. Uh, but yeah, linked in the description is the code that you can get 20% off your first order. So go check that out. Furthermore, if you're also a fan of the brand, make sure you check out their subscriptions uh, because you can make it a little bit cheaper for yourself with also getting monthly pairs delivered. So again, thanks very much, MeUndies. I'm a massive fan of the brand. Hopefully you guys will become that too and check them out in the link in the description. Okay, one of the games today playing Warwick using the Hyena skin that I actually believe... This is one of the nicer Warwick skins. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, Grey Warwick's cool. It is cool, but I don't think it's that nice. Like, it's just a rare skin. And with the new Honor system coming out, it's going to become less rare. And I will probably stop using it, you know, because it's like, eh, everybody's got it now. Um, so what I'm going to be doing uh, is I'm going to be trying to basically counter the invade from a Twitch. So a Twitch jungle is all about cheesing the enemy jungler, trying to kill them at a buff, that type of thing. So one of the most common things for him to do is red buff into red buff. That he does his own red, because red's very important, and then runs directly to the enemy red to try and kill the jungler. So I'm just going to start red. It, that's simple. Um, so yeah, going to do my, my red. And then again, if Twitch finds me in the early game, it's not even a guaranteed kill for him. Uh, as a Warwick, like, I'm a little bit tankier than another jungler. I should have higher health than other junglers. And, um, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my ward here. Now, you may be like, why am I throwing it there? Okay, so when you're thinking of Twitch jungle, what are you thinking of? Okay, invading with stealth. 
So if he's looking to invade with stealth, he'll probably begin his stealth here to try and creep up on me while being invisible. Would he be stealthed here? Probably not. So if he isn't, then I get to see that. And it gives me a really big warning that he's coming. Um, but yeah. Okay, luckily Timo is helping me. Thank you, good sir. I'm going to start Q level 1 just to make sure I have the most health. Uh, if the bot lane was with me, I'd probably be starting w, um, w, but don't really need to. Okay, so that's interesting. I thought, okay, so yeah, like, it is red to red, the most common thing. They did definitely help him, though. So he could come to my blue buff if he knows, if he, if he knows I started red, then he could, oh no, there he is. So he went red to mid. Again, it's a cheese jungler. Like, yes, it's it's a rat. So it even, like, has more evidence that he likes cheese. Um, but yeah, that's what Twitch jungle is. If you survive it, then he basically becomes a normal AD carry. And look at our team comp. We should be able to deal with it pretty easily. I would think. I am worried about Teemo, obviously. I don't know why people pick Teemo. But apparently they do. Um, so Draven, Tristana, Castin, LeBlanc. He actually already had to use Flash, I didn't notice. Hmm, okay. I don't even know if he had to Flash that. Yeah, I'm coming mid lane. I'm presuming that uh, Twitch is just going to camp him because he doesn't have Flash now. Presuming Twitch is nearby. The old, the reason why I'm like Twitch has to be nearby is LeBlanc had the confidence to come back into lane. She's only going to have that confidence if... Uh, there he is. Told you. He's only, they're only going to have that confidence if Twitch is nearby. It's kind of obvious. I would presume the cast didn't knows that though. Alright, I'm going to do race. Usually you don't do race this early, but race is a lot of XP, so you don't really want to ignore it. The only problem with doing it is because you have to use abilities on this camp. If Twitch were to come to me right now, he will, like, wreck me in health. That's bad. The unbeaten Smurf team gave away first blood. Well, one of them. Got him. Yeah, I'll push it with you. Gave uh, Cassidy an assist there, so that was really good. Oh god, they're not going to moan, are they? If you're like a 22 and 0... S yeah, like what? That's not good. Uh Okay. Close. If we did a little bit more damage maybe to Twitch, not LeBlanc, we probably would have killed him. Alright. Alright. So the enemy team, like, okay, so if I was this Twitch, what would I be identifying? Well, everybody nowadays looks in loading screens. Literally, I'm not even kidding. Everybody. So the Twitch would see the win rate of this Cassadin and Tristana and be like, okay, Cassadin's weak in the early game, has no mobility. We can cheese him. I'm just going to camp him. It's that simple. Like, that's basically what is going probably through this Twitch's head is I camp him, I shut him down. So, yeah, that, that would probably be happening. I am expecting the Cassadin eventually to do okay, uh, to be honest, because that's kind of how Cassadin works. Uh, he's never really been that strong in the early game, apart from, like, Season 3. Um, and he's even trading with her, like, not terribly in that, so... I've just got to make sure my farm is staying relatively high. Because if my farm drops and my XP goes down and Twitch gets level 6 before me, uh, which he probably will, um, then obviously he'll have a, a lot bigger impact for a long time. And my level 6 is pretty important versus this team comp. So what I'm aiming with my with with Warwick, really, is to be able to always, and I really do mean always, kill somebody. Um, okay, there's Twitch. Uh, always kill somebody with my ultimate. So whenever it's up, I'm always looking for a kill with somebody. Because it's pretty free. Like, no matter who I go to, unless it's, like, with Janna nearby and she can, like, tornado, then, yeah. Pretty sure Twitch's bot lane. 
I'm like 75% sure. Uh, maybe like if they're like an amazing smurf, maybe Tristana isn't the best champ to go. Wait, Thresh is level three. Good kill. Giving it to Tristana. I like her having a double kill. Oh look where Twitch is. Twitch is ganking mid again. There you go. Double kill for them. Really good gank. Like honestly, that couldn't even, that couldn't have got better. I would just want them to back off. Like they, I don't want my team to risk stuff because I think we just win late game. Again, when you know you win late game, I think it's okay just to kind of take it easy. The why do I think we're gonna look, win late game? Because some people are gonna look at this comp and go, "What? They're all so squishy. We're not like." tanky by any means but we're not like to the point that pop you're all dead so like we should be able to control them quite easily okay so i'm i'm level six after this red so i'll either look top or look mid most likely mid lane to be honest okay i'm on my way he's dead Alright, Twitch is alive. Free kills. It's nice. But that's the point, is that because we know they're going to play so aggressive on this Kassadin, because it's a Kassadin, you can kind of counter that by just kind of always being hovering around in mid lane and picking up a free kills, you know. I'm on my way. <clears throat> we can do the exact same thing we just did. <clears throat> Where's the hook attempt? You know, at least attempt it. <coughs> I want to do dragon, because I think dragon's pretty good for our comp. Oh, he missed the hook. Twitch is top lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lantern, 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 lantern. Alright. Twitch is top lane, so I'm going to do dragon. Oh, Cassidy could be in trouble. I'm running mid, screw it. I think Twitch is mid. So I get a return kill, but I could be dead from this. Please be the jumping plant. I'm dead. Damn. I don't know. This Cassidy doesn't seem very, like... Uh, I'm not going to say knowledgeable. What's the right word? He's not thinking where Twitch is a lot of the time. Like, to me, that was obvious that Twitch was mid lane, but then the Cassidy still goes in. It's like, what? How didn't you know? Ooh, close. Ooh, your health! Now you TP? No kill. Oh my god, that's really bad. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this duo queue so far. The unbeaten duo queue, not doing actually that good. Oh, I'm on my way bot lane. This is a double kill. Twitch is probably still bot lane. Oh my god, go. All she does all she needs to do is jump in. Jump in and bait them. And it's a free double kill. Instead of just kind of just standing there like sucking your thumb. Like what? Alright. Don't know why they overstayed like that. Alright. I'm going to get dragon now. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I didn't really. Oh, 
Whip him. Oh my god, throw! Don't cancel your AA. <laughs> oh my god, he cancelled an auto attack. Are you kidding me? There's so much bad play happening. Holy moly. Mm, he's not dead. Oh, actually, he might be. Depends how much he can get his shield. Yeah. He got the, the AP shield. That just kind of killed the... Uh, LeBlanc, because she didn't respect it. Oh, this game is so messy. I hate messy games, man. If you guys have watched my content for a while, you know I don't like messy games. And this is a messy game. Like, I don't want to be 4-3-2. Like, I don't want four kills. Uh, I've got the majority... I've been involved, by the way, in everybody, in every kill apart from one. Like, I've been a very central person to this game, which... Obviously, it's a good thing for me. It shows that I'm doing well, but it shows that my team aren't doing anything without me. As a jungler, like, again, take it as a good thing. You're doing well, but take it as your team is very, very reliant on you, which is not always a good thing. Whenever a team gets very reliant on one person, that's tending to when, like, you lose games. Because I can't be everywhere. And it just takes one play. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait. No, he's not. Oh, I'm going to come kill the Ruben. I actually legit thought that was the real one. Oh, that's warded. Oh, that is the real one. Screw her. I, I just, like, did that just to get rid of her, basically, because I don't want her to have a chance to do anything. So when she has chain on, it's the, it's a free ultimate, right? That's the way you've got to think of it. Might be dead. Ah, red buff. And Teemo's dead. That's terrible. We, that's the one thing that I really didn't want to happen this game. Is Teemo lose that lane. Is because if Riven gets fed, then we are in trouble. Oh my god. Are you guys kidding me? So Cassidy just decided to farm instead of kill the tower and then I die. Okay, cool. Really good teamwork there, guys. Ugh. Holy moly. Wow, Twitch is 6 and now. I didn't even notice. Hmm. I still want to do that dragon, but I just haven't really had the opportunity. So LeBlanc is 1 and 5 and half CS, so she's really struggling right now. But the problem is the rest of the team isn't. 1 and 0 oh, Riven with like even CS, so she's done fine. Like again, Teemo really should win that lane because that's what Teemo is really good for. 6 0 oh, Twitch is very fed, uh, doing very well for himself. 1 5 LeBlanc, not a threat. And then 1 1 Draven did good CS too. So, yeah, this game, it's a bit up in the air right now. Like, what I'm worried with is my... I'm presuming Twitch is going to be top lane. It's just too obvious, man. Like, you guys should really know this. Like, in logic terms, where else is he going to be? Basically, that's what you have to ask yourself. You're like, Huz, how did you know that? Where else is he going to be? That's the point. He's only going to be there. Well, I'm coming bot lane. Pretty sure I can catch her. Damn. Um, Alright, I'm going to do dragon now. Finally. <laughs> Just checking that I like can reach the back of the pit with the vision. This game, it's interesting. It's up in the air right now. I'm not going to say it's a free win because there's been a lot of just bad play going on. Right, I'm going back. Nice. Oh, wait. Did uh, Timo got an assist by a mushroom? <laughs> 
I uh, love it. All right, I'm going to buy some armor. Because I, I want to complete my item, obviously. But because I can't right now, I may as well just kind of buy something that's useful. All right, so Twitch is alive. Guessing top lane. Again, it's the question, where else is he going to be? Top lane's being pressured. Mid lane, Kastanen can get away from a Twitch. So the likely place for Twitch to go is top lane. Maybe like flank to the right or something like that. So I'm just going to run here to try and counter it. Like, I'm pretty sure by the time I arrive, Twitch will be going in. If he doesn't, then it's a free tower, which is really good. And then, okay, there's Twitch. So he is top lane. All right, don't let me die from the tower now. Thank you. Appreciate it. I still can't believe that they actually let me die under that tower in mid lane. Because it was 100% free to take uh, when everybody was just attacking it. But when people kind of stop doing it to go do farming or something, it's like, uh, awkward. Well, he should be fine. The shroom was protecting him. <coughs> Game's a little bit in limbo. I might need to do like Rift Herald or something just to kind of make something happen. So my target, my, my alt target right now is Twitch. If I can find him in a team fight, like and I don't use my alt yet, it's like jump on Twitch. Uh, and he'll die instantly. Like, I'm pretty sure if Janna doesn't stop me or Draven doesn't E me, he'll just go pop and he'll just die from Cassadin or something. Because the game right now is just kind of in like a slow farming, like, herp and derp and mode. Yeah, I, I, I got this kill. They don't need to panic. Uh, Twitch is bot lane. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, uh, Twitch. Okay. I, I want to do this. I want to do this. Yeah. It's free. And it's about to die, so it's a really good time to do it. Hopefully, we can do it in time. Because I think it dies at like 40. Does it die at 40? Like, 1940? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got it. It's fine. Bum, ba, da, ba. Yeah, we got Infernal coming up in two minutes. I've had pretty good, like, objective control this game. So I'm not really that worried. No, I want to go back. I'm by. Use this, and then upgrade that. And then we're pretty good. Alright. Uh, I'd say Kassin has to be careful. Ba -ba 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 I'm kind of happy that Draven didn't snowball this game, I'm going to be honest. He was the one that I was going to like, Ugh. especially with how bot lane was going for a little while. But it seems like it's fine. Are we going to push top lane? Is that what we're doing? Apparently so. I don't even know if I want to use it. That fake was go. Oh! Good hook. Alright. Oh, good survival, too. Now I'm using it. The reason why I'm using it now is because the, 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 the enemy team is in disarray. Like, so much stuff has just happened. Uh, they shouldn't have stayed like that. I got the tower. Alright, that works. My team did overstay, which is a bit unfortunate, but we do get something for it. We get mid lane tier 2, so it's worth it. 
kind of, because it was only one death. Tristana was the only one that died. So it's not like, you know, five people died or something. Or, or two or three. You know, only one. Um, but yeah. Okay. But the farm difference in mid lane is crazy. I want these guys to be careful because, like, I don't want them to throw when Infernal Dragon's coming up, and that's really important. Like I mentioned to you guys, is when, like, a whole team has zero tank, basically. They're all damage dealers, you know, ignore the supports. It's really important to have Infernal because it benefits you more. If you have a tank, they're not really using Infernal that much, you have to, you know, imagine. Hopefully Teemo can go get the, the Twitch. Alright, 680 on Smite. Wait, where did Draven go? So all we need to do is have good focus. Notice how Twitch died instantly as... Uh, uh... Alright, let me have the fruit then. <laughs> take fruits. Enemy, my team decide to take all the fruits. Hello? Now let's move my uh, control ward here. Thresh should be tanking this. Alright, 680 smite. Oh, oh, that's the fake. I was like, how is a LeBlanc here? She's not. Alright, good call. They got a tier 2 top lane for it. Who cares? And Timo's doing a flank and gets a kill. Nice. Brilliant. What well Uh, Let's keep buying armor. So, like, the, the fortunate thing is how bad the LeBlanc has done this game. Still probably can kill Tristana if she's not careful, though. Um, Is that I'm just... Wow, you're desperate. Oh, that that might be a tilted LeBlanc, man. Potentially. Like, that was just really weird. Hmm. Why would you times nine twitch? Like, again, we don't know his behavior. We don't know if toxicness or anything like that. But... He's, like, carrying your game. Or has been, like, a massive carry in your game. Like, if Twitch wasn't here, I would wager this game would be a complete stomp. Like, he has put a dent in our side a little bit. But, yeah. I'm just looking for somebody now, just to ult on top of them. Basically, we're in the time of the game that we can push like crazy with a Tristana. So if I see kill, I take kill. It's that simple. That's what you do as Warwick. Like, yes, Twitch is my priority. He's the guy that I'm like, yeah, I do really want to ult that guy. Like, if he flanks behind us, then I'll just jump straight on, on top of him. There he is. So that's the point. Saw kill, take kill. Even though it's going to stop us pushing mid lane, look at top lane. Like, there's always something that we can do. Alright, let me just regen a bit. So yeah, that's just how you play Warwick, everybody. Like, again, I'm not I'm not a Warwick e expert. I've actually recently picked up this champion in relative terms. Um, Richard. That was a close hook. I got the fear. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't get that fear. Really? Okay, we need to leave. Like, pronto. Yeah, Thresh, why? I don't know what Thresh is doing. He's had some weird stuff this game, too. They're French. I don't know any French LCS pros. Hmm. Guessing that they're not LCS pros, then. Hopefully they're not like what I said at the beginning. Like, a lot of people... It's it's common for boosters to duo queue. It's very common because it makes it easier for them. Um, so I'm hoping they're not boosters. Like, getting a fresh account, zero normal games, getting it to, like, Diamond 1 or something, and then selling it. I hope that's not the case. 
because that would be kind of lame. Again, I'd, I, like, here's the weird thing. I get why people do it. Like, oh, I'm a challenger player. I can easily get an account to Diamond 1 and sell it. The thing that I don't get is the people that buy those accounts. Like, the account's most likely going to get banned. Like, it will get banned if, if it's found out. And let's be honest, it's not that hard to find out. Secondly, why would you even want it in the first place? Like, I guess, like, oh, look, I've got a D1 account, but you didn't do it. Like, I don't know what you gain. To me, it's just a really weird concept. Maybe I'm old school and it's like, oh, I deserve it. I do it because I deserve it. I got it because I deserve it. But I don't know. Oh, that's a free kill on the block. Twitch should probably... Uh, Teemo will probably be able to solo her, to be honest. Wait, he's running away from a 1 and 8 LeBlanc. What am I missing? Teemo! Oh, nice. And casted him for some reason. Was mid by himself and just got killed. What are you doing? <laughs> like, what? Uh -huh. <coughs> Whoa. Holy Jesus, their damage. I need more armor. Good hook. And Draven's gonna pop off. I don't know. Oh. Maybe go as four and don't. Go solo mid. <laughs> That's all because Cassidy by died, by the way. Like, by himself, randomly. It just gives them so much pressure. Mmm, free inhibitor. Oh, did he just kill himself? Yeah. The hell, Cassidy? Do we just lose the game? We might have just lost. But like the Cassidy saying that stuff is really dumb because his duo came. If it was a bad thing to do, then surely his duo partner wouldn't have come, right? Or am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Like, the thing that the casting is not understanding, it was a free kill on LeBlanc. You may as well get the free kill and then move on, right? Boom. Free kill. Boom. But then he, it, it, like, okay, maybe we could have done something else at the time. Fair enough. But that doesn't mean you stay mid lane. Like, that's the point. Because we go for that play doesn't mean you just stand mid lane 1v4. That, that doesn't add up. This game is still winnable, but, like... All it takes is a Twitch just to backdoor now. Twitch will look to backdoor. That's all it takes for him. Is just stealth into our base and go da 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 and they win. So I am basically have to stay on guard duty for a while because I can stop him. Uh, I don't think I can kill him, but I can definitely like delay him a lot. I got fear and my stun. Oh. That's weird. Do you have flash? Please say you have flash. Good blind by Teemo. Thresh, what are you doing? He literally just walked into them and just died. Weird play, man. Oh. Keep her going. Keep her going, Trist. Keep her going, Trist. Keep her going, Trist. Where's Teemo? Or just auto attack or do something. Oh, we aced them. I don't know what Teemo's doing. He just kind of stood around doing nothing for a while. But Thresh can't say anything because he literally just walked straight into them. <laughs> ah! Diamond, everybody. <laughs> The rating that everybody wants to be. And just to mention, uh, if you had no idea, potentially, 
God, I, 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 sometimes I get my dates mucked up, but this might be the last day of a t-shirt for sale. Uh, so, and it may never be available again, so if you want to get it, make sure you do. Uh, but yeah. Oh, this game is stressful. It's stressful, though, because uh, it's just weird play going on, basically. Yeah, we never group, but I doubt we're ever going to, because a Teemo doesn't group. That's not his playstyle. The problem is if they go for Baron, Twitch has a bigger smite than me. Yes, he should actually just stay there for a couple seconds. If Twitch were to go there right now, I think he could end with ult. This is the only way that he can get in. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did you just literally int? Ah, uh, Kastin literally just inted, basically. Walked into them 2v1 and died. Okay, so the chances of this basically being a bait is really high. Nobody went in. Oh, I think we just lost. Alright, nice. Now uh, we're just gonna have to like get the minions. Oh, why did Kasten do that? Like the guy said it himself. I think he is literally the one that said it. We win 5v5, so he went in 1v2. Like what? Listen to your own advice. Uh, the reason why I'm saying if we actually get the fight is because nobody's doing the right thing. Again, we if we have a 5v5, I think we'll be fine. When was the last time we had a 5v5? We haven't. That's a free kill. Oh. Go, 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 go. This is so good. Yes. All this basically, you're like, oh, that kill doesn't really give you anything. That kill gives us a lot. It gives us anti-pressure. So they have Baron. They're not allowed to push now because they're dead. The Riven's dead. So good. Okay, we've got the Inhib back up now. So we, we, we don't have to be that scared of them literally just ending. I am kind of surprised that Twitch didn't go for it. I'm going to be honest. Like, you know... That potentially is like an end. Or at least it creates such a massive disruption. Him going for an end. And like the enemy team running at us. Like what the hell do you do in that situation? Do you fight them? If you fight them then Twitch ends the game. Like I'm really surprised he didn't go for it. I'm worried about Teemo getting killed. Nice room. Half health for one shroom. <coughs> Alright, we have to basically... Oh, man. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh. Teemo, um, Twitch ult. No, Kassadin died again, and I died. Whoa, that Twitch is fed. Kassadin doesn't use Zonyas, unfortunately. Or he just has to be a little bit more careful about going... In as a Cassidy. Like, I'm a, a Warwick, by the way, because some people say, oh, you're doing the same thing. I'm a tankish Warwick. If I get absolutely obliterated, which I just did, then what's what do you think is going to happen to a Cassidy? He's just going to get one shot. So he has to be a lot more careful about going in than I am. But in, in like a weird turn of events, he's more hyphy than me. He goes in more than me. This is good. This is good. Ah, right, it's that one. Got to be careful of Twitch, though. Nice, Trist. Oh, she mucked up. And also Twitch got a, an execute back here. Oh, she might be dead. Unless the E doesn't. Yes, she got it. Okay. Stick. Wait, you're doing that? Oh, there's Twitch. All right, we win the game, I think. I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, we get Elder Dragon. And then we can probably push and look for the end. With Elder Dragon, I don't think they'd have enough damage to stop us. Alright, 900. Go. You can go, you can go. Nice. Do you guys want to go back and buy? I guess, yeah. They want to go back and buy, which is fine. Basically, go back and buy, reset, and then look for the end after. This game. Woo. What do I do? Do I just go GA now? Or do I go, like, Cinder Hulk? Do I finish it? Nah, I'm not going to finish it. Screw that. Uh, I'm going to buy that. Alright, let's go, team. The problem is, the more that they figure out that they're not going to win a 5v5, the more likely they're going to go for a cheese end. Like, if Twitch literally just goes for the inhibitor, do we have enough time to kill them and end the game? I don't think so. So we'd have to go back and stop him. Which, it'll cut it fine, man. Like, you never know. What we should actually have is, like shrooms we should have shrooms like guarding that entrance because then we'd 100 percent know i right, say he's here we need to do something though tower damage if we do see twitch like somewhere else then you literally just go all in. That damage. Where's our Trist damage? I think we could have like done more there. I'm going to be honest. So look how much damage that Trisana did in one little combo. Oh, that could have been the end. Maybe I should have ulted, but that would have been really risky. Alright, get this. We do have Cassidy like, not with us, but I think that's okay. That's bad. Yeah, we need to get to Cassidy. They want to end. Okay. We got to win. Oh, we win the game. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that last auto attack got me. Go Tristana. Good slow. No, kill the Draven. 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 He's the more important target. Now Tristana kills the Trit LeBlanc. Now she kills the Janna. Oh. <laughs> this game. Woo. Alright. They can get the uh, inhibitor. Uh, oh, they might be able to actually end. They might be able to end. Potentially. Depends how tanky the Thresh can be. And if they can kill Twitch like straight away. Tristana will wreck towers. So, yeah, they might be able to end. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Alright, okay, boom. <clears throat> so they are asking to report Twitch for some reason. Again, I don't really know why. But yeah, in theory, we beat the Twitch here because the Teemo should be able to blind him. And now the minions come in, and now they should be able to end. So Twitch is up. He might have ultimate, but I don't think... They shouldn't be stacking. There we go, Teemo blind, and he's dead. I'm just going to run because I may as well, but the game is over. So there we go, guys. That is a very stressful game of League of Legends right there. If you made it to the whole game, what I'm going to say, if you made it to the whole game, in the comments section... Oh, what should we put? Tell me what your plans are for the summer. If you tell me what your plans are for the summer, where you're going on holiday, what you're doing, anything crazy, anything special. If you tell me that, then I'll know you made it all the way to the end. Because I guarantee, again, people probably didn't. But this was a very intense game. Could have gone either way. Uh, I was confident about winning this game. Like, you guys did see that I was confident about winning. 
um, because just how our comps worked, it, we did have a stronger 5v5 because how squishy they were, and you could definitely see that. But definitely a lot of mistakes, you know, like Kasdan staying mid lane and then being like, what are you guys doing? But then his own duo queue partner comes with us, so you can't really say anything. So anyway, we went uh, 7, 8, 11. Honestly, I'm fine with a negative KD in this type of game. I was the only one that was kind of allowed to j jump in the middle of them. And I was still getting killed. Like, it was just nuts. Got a B minus. We gained 17. You can see the rage, by the way, in the bottom left is crazy. And uh, damage done is not crazy amount of damage, but more than the Riven. Holy moly, that Riven did no damage. Like, even though, like, she killed, I think, Teemo once in a 1v1, she didn't do anything else. Like, ever. And I'd say partially that's due to team comp. Like, a Riven needs a team comp around her to set her up to allow her to jump in 1v5. This isn't that team comp. You have two AD carries and a LeBlanc. There's no setup there. There's just damage. And Riven probably was just like by herself a little bit going, I don't know what to do. So that's good. That's a nice win. Well played to my team, I guess. Uh, but if you like this episode, throw a like on it. Remember in the comments section, tell me all that stuff. Remember we've got the $1,000 Riot Point giveaway happening too. All linked down below. Very easy instructions in, in order to get into it. So like it, subscribe. See you guys next time. Thanks.